pain was in every part of my body for many, many years. I stopped needing a doctor. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. I cannot find any traces that it ever existed in my body. I had over 80 allergies and I was allergic to the world, basically. I am not allergic to anything. I can eat anything I want to. EFT stands for emotional freedom techniques, and it's an emotional version of acupuncture, except we don't use needles. Instead, we address emotional issues. The emotional contributor to disease and ailments and physical things is far greater than the emphasis that's been given to it to date. All of us know intuitively that if we're carrying around angers and griefs and guilts and traumas, it shows up physically. If somebody is really angry, their stomach is tight, maybe the veins down out on their neck, their blood pressure goes up, emotions cause physical things. Well, you keep that body a long period of time, now you're looking at diseases. You know, in my own case, I got tired of giving medications which would just treat the symptoms and didn't really address what I thought was the underlying problem. EFT, on the other hand, Zero was right in on it, and I think that's why we get results where nothing else will. It's possible to clear emotional issues at a deep enough level that physical healing results. Acupuncture relies on the fact that there are subtle energies that run throughout the body called meridians. If they're not flowing well, the body's health does not do well. And what I found was something just very stunning. If we stimulate these meridians, tapping on them with our fingertips, it tends to balance things out. And people that would have an intense emotional issue, it would just fade. Sometimes it would happen in minutes. Once you start taking care of these emotional issues and doing it correctly and really resolving them, uh, physical things start to subside as well. Immediately, I could control my pain levels. My migraine was gone in 10 minutes. I don't have diabetes anymore. I don't have to check my blood anymore. I gave my blood meter to my sister, whose cat has diabetes because he's overweight. <laughs> what we've really done is taken a very ancient, very well-established process, the ancient Chinese way of going about healing. We've dusted it off, and we've added an innervation or two, and this is the, the new forefront to me. We're on the ground floor of this new healing high-rise. When I was 10 years old, I fell down a 25-foot hay chute that landed in a sitting position on a concrete landing, compressing my spine. I underwent my first back operation in 1971, the second one in 1972, a third one in 1979, a fourth one in 1984, a fifth one in 1992, and a sixth in 2002. With each surgery, the pain just got worse. I lived in pain my entire life. I um, lived on Tylenol with codeine 4. I took them like candy. I uh, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, uh, which was another devastating blow. And, and my response to that was, God, how much can I take? I was totally wheelchair bound for five years. EFT brought me out of the wheelchair, put me on arm crutches, which my doctor said would never happen. Went from arm crutches to giving up social security disability and returning to work. I'm 54 and I'm doing jumping jacks now. I'm not saying by that we cure everything in a minute or two and in a session or two and so on. And some things take a lot longer than others, but we get astonishing results often. So what we're gonna do today is take a finger prick of blood from a few different people. We're gonna take a look at it under a dark field microscope and actually look at what their live blood looks like. A person that's healthy, their live blood will look like a clean flowing river. And a sick person clumping in just a murky swamp. Of those six people, three had blood picture that looked like there's some health issues that should be addressed. So we had those three people go through about five minutes of EFT. This anger. All this resentment. We drew their blood again, looked at it, and saw just total different blood pictures. No sign of clumping. I was speechless. When I could finally think again, I thought, I'm going to go home and just take my certificates, my degrees that took me years to get, and just tear them up and just, let's learn about this EFT. Normally, as a nutritionist, I would have put you on two or three months of mineral supplementation, but 
EFT, five minutes. People on the outside, they look at some of the things we do as, as miracles, and I'm not really a miracle worker at all, or, you know, it's just the body will tend to heal itself if its energies are allowed to flow. The biggest thing that blocks that flow of energy is how emotional issues and past traumas are held in the body. So we're getting to the core. That's why you can use it for everything. Addiction issues. Shame issues. Vision issues. Chronic fatigue. Fear of flying. Atrial fibrillation. Cravings. Diabetes. Diverticulitis. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Abundance. Public speaking. Insomnia. Performing in any capacity. For the first time, I can probably say I truly and genuinely like myself, love myself, have acceptance. People ask me what kind of antidepressants I'm on, and I say EFT. <laughs> You know. I do believe anything is possible now because I've seen it. One that was really fun to do was the vision experiment I did. 75% had an improvement in their vision. I keep getting emails from people, by the way, Carol, you know, I'm not using my glasses to look at the piano music anymore. EFT is the best thing i found, hands down. One of the great things about EFT is it's easy to learn by anyone. I thought, well, I don't know if I believe this. But what if I just suspended my disbelief? Well, the EFT tutorial is free on our website because I, I want the world to know how to do it. Do you want more than that?